Hey, in this video we will try to make some new tool holders for the quick change tool post. I have five or six of these and this is not enough. I I have a little problem with the lathe. It has a high uh, compound and the original ones cannot be used. I have already milled these down 3 millimeters or an eighth of an inch for the tools to fit on center height. So we will try to make some ourselves. And they are not that accurate. They do not have to be that accurate. Um, the only thing that is hard to do is this dovetail here to measure it and cut it. Um, <coughs> we'll make a little drawing or sketch. The first thing is this front side. Let's try to hold it in the view and measure and you'll try. 76.07 millimeters. Let's put, make them about 75 millimeters because it doesn't matter if it's a little longer or shorter than this one. And the height is 30 or oh, 38 point 10, 11, 9, 38. And the groove doesn't have to be this big on the new ones. This is because I mill out uh, three millimeters extra. Let's try and measure the tool. It's twelve millimeters, and this one is almost twenty. Let's draw a line and let's call it 16. And then we have the top side. I did cut out a little of the drawing so you people don't fall asleep. Um, the last thing we need to know is, uh, is the dovetail. And we cannot measure it directly because we have see sides is not going out to a corner and we need to put 
two gauge pins in and I did not find any gauge pins so I have a box of new quarter inch drill bits and I will use two of these to put in here like this <coughs> and I think I have to lay it down yes um, to put these in and we have to put them in when we are cutting it to measure it so I'll mark these two as we can use the same again I don't think that is it is necessary because they have to be almost the same twenty five point eight four The screws are set screws that are machined a little down on the end and filed so there's no burrs. I will see if I can get these. I think I can get them in 8mm. This is 7. I can order them online, but I think in our local hardware store they have. 8 mm and 6 6 mm so we will probably go for 8 and then move them a little in and this one we have to make another of the stud this is a one millimeter pitch and I don't have a tap for that and I think the fine threads for this one is not wobbling um, but when this had this nut on to hold it I think it could be a normal 10 by 1.5 I think We will try that. This was the boring part of it. Now we will try to set it up in the middle and oh I'm sure I've got some some blanks here on the band saw to make these um, it's just some mild steel I think. But these are pretty soft too. So, I think it will work. I'll start using the fly cutter to clean the rusty parts off. This is some soldering wire just because it's a rough edge.
I just stopped the video for a while and uh, I have six of these tool blocks to make and uh, I don't have a power feed for my x-axis and I was thinking a little and I had some stepper motors so I thought why give it a try but no laughing it's just a test so I will present to you the CNC handle turner and it uh, works actually quite well and uh, I didn't know if the stepper motors would drive the middle the table so I just made a, a little bushing to fit the stepper motor with two bolts on that can turn the hand wheel I will just go and make a little move and you can see how it works We just run it by a computer with Mark III on it. Uh, so now we just have to say X minus and it actually worked a lot better than I hoped because it's it's a big table for these small steppers. Then we will try to touch it off and then let's give it a try. But I did a half a millimeter of cut. <laughs> 